All right, here's your Te O Ball. So that might seem hard, but it's pretty straightforward. What I like about it, it's two chords over here, and then mostly just an arpeggio on this side. So we have our G. I use just a finger and I'll usually press both the buttons to get a big sound. This one gives you the chord, but this one gives you the bass note. So together, it's nice and fat. So you go G, and then you go to C. And rhythmically, it's so it's pretty straightforward. On this side, you do a G. First part, second part. So that's just going down. Still the G. I usually just move my pinky up, then you have to find your arpeggio again. So you put that all together. Then of course you can sing along to it. And then in his hand it's just G E G G E G. And that's jete au ball. All right, a couple things about handling the accordion. First off, it has these two straps and you just put those around your shoulders. So one around there, put the other one around here, and that just sits out front there. Now there's these two snaps, you undo those, and then you have this little switch. What that does is allows you to move without making sound. If this isn't engaged, you can't actually move this in and out without pressing a button, without breaking it. So this is an important button. When you're done playing, you always have to close it and put these snaps on. And then it's nice and secure.